Hello, I'm Kim Hoffman, and we're here tonight with the Great Lakes Artist Group, which is going to be a very interesting show because these are all very interesting characters. <laughs> these people make movies, they do TV, they're all very talented and beautiful. And my first guest that I would like to introduce is James Bach. He's the president of Great Lakes Artist Group. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everybody. He's been drinking. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hi everybody, uh, I'm James and uh, I'm here to talk about uh, the movie that we're currently working on which is called Dracula's Orgy of the Damned and uh, I'm very proud to have uh, our cast members here. So uh, we're going to talk about it tonight, we're also going to talk about our previous film called The Bloody Rage of Bigfoot and I'm excited about tonight, I think tonight's show is going to kick ass. Oh yeah, we're going to kick ass, yeah. yeah. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. And right on my left here is Ron Fitzgerald. Now Ron, yeah. there's... I, ca I just called you master because <laughs> I don't do know that. I, have I, no problem with that. I really don't know you know I mean come on it would take a roll page to put everything you do so There's I want you to just tell the audience what you're doing here tonight I'm Dracula there you go I'm Dracula. <laughs> said I'm and done I'm said and actor. done I'm a gothic illusionist I'm a host I do a lot of different things uh, but it, it, with uh, Great Lakes Artist Group and uh, Mr. James Bach here he, uh, he came and found me, well, actually, he found me on your show, right here on this very stage, in this very oh, no. studio. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That's, he, he no, wants that's nothing to do truth. with this stuff now, does he? Yeah. <laughs> Todd, Todd. That's right, yes. I'm, I'm blind, man. You, you started this crap right there, yeah. <laughs> you know, all those white people all look the same, I know that. See. The evil they, genius no, cannot no, behave. Evil, no, watch no. your genius I, tonight. You mistaken me tonight for, for my, my brother, the evil genius which is, he's working on something else right now, and he asked me to fill in so I can play the harmonica for y'all. So oh, oh, I am like that. He's a blues brother. Oh. So, well, no, so what's no, your, what's go ahead. Name? You guys talk about the, the, the werewolf and uh, the were, uh, Frankenstein and the Bigfoot and, and all those other uh, Halloween There's creatures. Bigfoot, maybe. Oh, I want to hear all about it. I'm all excited, and I, that's why I come on the show, y'all. I appreciate it. I'm going to just sit here, and when you guys want me to play a harmonica, I'm going to play a harmonica for y'all. So here you go, guys. Thank you. Anyway, he started this. <laughs> no, he did. And you can see uh, why. I don't know about you, but I got chills off of that. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, yeah, it was not a couple of years ago that me and Jamie and Todd, the evil genius, and Ron were sitting on the same stage. These two met, uh -huh. and then they made a movie. And that's how things happen. That's just how that, things That's how happen. things happen. When I uh, decided to do this Dracula film, uh, we had just finished uh, The Bloody Rage of Bigfoot, and uh, we got it released, and, uh, and we got some very favorable numbers with sales, and a lot of positive feedback, a lot of negative feedback, uh, some hate mail, um, a, a couple, there was actually a, a jihad on me, but um, then we decided to do uh, the uh, Dracula's Orgy of the Dam, and I was like, well, who would I, who, who do I get to play Dracula? And I was thinking, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I don't know, because I was watching that old that old show we did. So mm -hmm. I called Ron, and uh, he, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he hung up on me, but then I called him back, and then... <laughs> and then uh, you did? And then, you hung up on him? No, I, no he's no, telling I'm stories. Teasing, I'm teasing. No, but no, see, I hung up on him after we were working together, yeah. but <laughs> not that time. No, no not he, when he offered me the gig. No. He seemed uh, very enthusiastic about it, and I, uh, I, I think I couldn't have made a better choice to, to play... Uh, to play Dracula, from we're, we're approaching uh, completing the project, and from what we see, I think he did a dynamite job. What about you? What do you think, Mr. Editor? Steve. Steve. Um, Steve. Yeah. Oh, it's sorry. it's it's been an interesting uh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Is it interesting? In more ways than one. In more ways than one. So we've we've had a lot of fun and. Um, I've enjoyed working with them and everything, so it's 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 been a lot of fun. Where did they get the castle? Where did that come from? Uh, that that castle, <laughs> no, that castle was funny because uh, I'm like, well, where the hell am I going to get a castle? So I went on the internet and I was typing castles in Illinois, and all of a sudden, boom, this one pops up in Elgin. So we I, I drove out there and I saw it, and then uh, we went out there to shoot a scene, and I knocked on the owner's door, and I'm like. <clears throat> 
excuse me, hi, we're making a movie about Dracula. Would you mind if we shot some scenes in front of your in front of your castle? He's like, no, that's totally cool. I get people coming up all the time dressed as knights and shit like that. <laughs> and he said he's totally used to this. So he says, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he says, he goes, do me a favor. When you're done with the movie, send me a copy. So... I don't remember his name or address, but... <laughs> you know where he lives, though. <laughs> he lives in the damn castle. Yeah, he lives so in the damn castle. I know where to send the movie. His lawyer will contact you after the movie comes out. <laughs> yeah. Defamation. And I want to introduce Brian Punk Mock. i got to pinch him. Wait. Oh. Yeah. There. Now, we're eat, now it's good. Okay. Now I pinched you. Now it's good. Yeah. Well, so what have you been up to? It's not, I mean, I saw you last weekend. I know what you did last weekend, but what have you been oh, up yeah. to? You know what I did last weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. I know you didn't go to no blues fest because that was two weeks ago. So oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, helped finish up a shoot on a movie. Yeah, I know. You work hard. Yes, I do. What was the name of the movie? Dark Realm. Ah. Dark Realm. I did the behind the scenes on right. it. Right, Ron Fitzgerald's uh, new project. Whoa. Yeah, Ron dragged me kicking and screaming into this one. <laughs> Kim, you're coming to the limelight with me, but I'm just a musician, leave me alone. No, you're coming. And you shot I, it at the limelight? I lo- no, we shot at the continuum. Oh, the continuum. Woo-hoo. That was an experience. I, yeah. Ron advised us to this place to shoot a scene. And I Steve know Brian and I, likes to hang out there. Uh, well, Steve <laughs> and I walked into the continuum, and Steve and I, I grew up in Elko <laughs> Village. Steve and I know each other from church, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so I walk into the continuum, I'm like, well, what the fuck is this? I mean, I got like, uh, there was like leather masks and uh, a bed bondage, with, with bondage. Whips, and chains, a tasty little bondage morsel, furniture. Like, hey, shit, they'd have a field, they'd have a raffle off on somebody like me. Yeah. <laughs> So, but yeah, but it turned out to be a cool shoot anyway. I just, that's, you know. It's a good scene. It's a good scene, but I just never, <laughs> I wasn't what I expected. I <laughs> when I walked into that, I'm like, you know. But yeah, I think you cool. guys were a little surprised, weren't you? I was a lot surprised. Awesome. I walked that's in what I, I wanted. When, when the person greeted me at the door with a leather mask, you know, so. All right, and hand mic to Fluffy. This is Claire Fluff Llewellyn, and she is an actress. And you want to tell me what you've been up to? I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, it's, uh, it's been a while, Kimmy. Um, we, we've met on the road a few times and, <laughs> and on your show. Um, what am I up to? I'll, uh, I'll have a lot of stuff. I did that <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, so obviously in, uh, in James's Dracula's of the Orgy of the Damned, um, and I play Pat- Patricia, um, the uh, nemesis of Dracula. Um, <laughs> uh, also, I'm doing another Dracula movie in, in India, a 3D movie in India we've been asked to do, and we're also going to be directing a movie of his in uh, India and Germany. India? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I will sit down with our kindly back I'm trying to picture Fluff in a burqa. I just, <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> Riding yaks and horses and motorbikes in the Himalayas, and really? it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, eat the food. Uh, deli belly. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting ready to show a trailer of one of Jamie's movies. The first one is Talon's Torture. Oh yeah. Here I'll tell you a little bit. Uh, Talon's Torture. Uh, Steve here plays a character, uh, Jack Talon, which is the world's worst news reporter. Okay. He's got his head clearly up his ass, doesn't know what he's doing, so he falls into the clutches of the Satantha and Lucifer. So what happens in the scene prior to this is uh, Satantha beats him with a stick uh, to a bloody pulp, haul him into their dungeon to uh, finish off uh, what they're going to do to to Steve's character. So if you want to show the scene, hold yes, on to your hat. We'll, uh, we'll show that in a few minutes. Oh, a few minutes. And this, is, is, is Fluff in this? No, no, this was oh, before oh, we knew we had known. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Tina Boven. Tina uh, played, did, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah she, she, didn't make she it played, tonight. yeah, she plays Lucifer, and uh, Andrea Hutchinson uh, plays uh, uh, Satan. Okay, good. And they're both and from your movie, The Bloody Rage of Bigfoot. They're both from Bloody Rage of Bigfoot. And actually, uh, Tina's character, actually, this is kind of a prequel. Uh, Dracula's Orgy of the Dam is kind of a prequel where 
uh, we learn the origin of Lucifer and how she became Lucifer. Oh, okay. Which we'll show that a little later. No, yes. No, wait, I'm confused now. Kill him! Steve, you did a phenomenal job on that scene, screaming yeah. with a mouthful of ketchup. <laughs> it was actually funny when we shot that scene, because <clears throat> it was this, this kid, he's probably like 12 years old, he plays with my son, who's 12 years old, and uh, he comes over and I'm like, hey man, I need a garage to shoot this, this bloody scene. He's like, well, could I ask my mom and dad to shoot it in their garage? I'm like, yeah, sure. So he comes back, my mom says, yeah, you can shoot the scene in my mom and dad's garage. <laughs> so we go over that night. And as you see what happened, there's blood all over the place, okay? His dad walks out like, what the shit? And, <laughs> and his dad is like younger than me, okay? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, we're just making this movie. He's like, I go, I'll clean this up, I'll clean this up. And he's like, uh, no, no, I'll take care of it, it's all cool. I'll clean it, which I know what he was thinking, you know, get the fuck out. So anyway, the next day I'm, uh, I'm driving down the street <laughs> And his garage door is open, and I see his dad on all fours, like, <laughs> with SOS pads and stuff like that. So oh, I'm like, no. but hell, it was for art. So it's yeah, like, well, that's what I say when I get in trouble. I did it for art. It's right. for art. I did it for art. Okay. Well, getting back to we what I was saying before we uh, saw, saw the scene of that movie. Now, now Lu Lucy for it. Uh, Lu I guess she's a female vampirist or something. So her first name is Lucy, and... Help me out here. Lucy, Lucy fur. Lucy fur. Does she wear a fur coat? Uh, that's why Lucy. She's she wearing a, like a, a mink or something. Was a, now that would be pretty fly, you know. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to say. That would be really good, cool. Now, if if you got the props for that, that I can. I know this pimp down on Rush Street. It can hook you up, man, with the fur coat if you need one. All right. All right. Well, we'll keep you in mind. That's cool. Thanks, buddy. Should also mention that Tina is also in Dracula's Orgy of the Damned with us as yes, well. Yes, she did. Uh, Tina, as she played uh, Lucy for this in Dracula's Orgy of the Damned, which we'll show in a clip later, we learned the origin of how she became Lucifer. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. okay. Very key, very key in, uh, information here. And, and uh, Christopher Kaler, hand him the mic. I, hello, Christopher. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I to do that I, I, we're about to show another film, another clip of a film. And I believe I saw you in this one, this or or the next one. What's the uh, We're going to watch the Witch's Lair next. No, no, Christopher is not in that scene. Oh, which one is he in? Well, uh, Christopher is that. Uh, is Witch's in? Lair is from Bloody Rage of Bigfoot. Okay. That is where uh, the two girls. No, 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 I'll talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> the two girls uh, want to go to Satantha's Lair because one wants to get a special uh, spell to uh, get a little boy named Johnny to like her, and that's where they run into uh, Pussy the Clown, who is also oh, there yeah. to, uh, to get his wish, wish uh, granted by Satanth as well. So if you want to take a look at this, it's a interesting scene, but a lot of fun. <laughs> the Witch's Lair. The yeah, Witch's Lair. The Witch's Lair. Wait, you sick son of a fucking bitch! Next time, ask a little nicer! Demons of the Norton, what the shit is going on here? She made me come. I don't want to be here. Get us out, please. 
No one's leaving my lair until I get some answers. Well, I'm in love with this boy named Johnny, and I heard you can make wishes come true. What is it you seek? I'll, I'll do anything. What, what do you want me to do so I can so you can me back? Oh, what are you here for? I'm here because I want revenge against my enemies! I can handle that, you brownie suckhole. Nice manners, babe! I bet you don't like girls, you fruit bag. Yeah, I'll show you a bag! Enough of this childish shit! Bring me my book! Your spell book. Scoot, you little dickens. Give me that damn spell book! I'm sick of this shit! No. Come on! Give me it! I'm gonna take out your damn hand! No. I'll take it right out of no. your hand! It's Come hard. on! No way! No. I can my damn no. book! I want the no. fucking spell, you bitch! No. I'm sick of this no. shit! Come on! I'm sick of this crap! No. You bitch! No. 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 You ain't seen the last of me, you sick freak! I like that. That's good shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, what, the clown. Who did, who did the clown? The clown was played by uh, Ron Fireisen, <clears throat> who, uh, the, the character of Pussy the Clown is also uh, part of his other character, which is uh, Vern Knudsen. So, uh, it's he, he, Vern Knudsen is a character who's out to kill Bigfoot for 20 years for allegedly killing his wife, but he also has a part-time job as a clown. Oh. So that explains that. <laughs> okay. So, it's a good movie. Good. Did you drive an ice cream truck? No, no, no. Not like that. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. He makes an appearance in Orgy of the Damned as he well. He makes several appearances yeah. in Orgy yes, of the Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. Yeah, we needed him for a lot of scenes, so mm -hmm. uh, uh, he, he worked out. So, All right. All right, and we have a musical guest tonight. Yeah. And Joel. Joel Rusco. Rusco. Would you like to play one for us now? Sure. While we're taking a break between. Could do that. Joel, what song are you going to sing for us tonight? Uh, we might as well start off with Bigfoot. Bigfoot Blues. Wrote a couple songs Joel for Rusco. James so that, uh, <laughs> before I even seen the movies, so yeah. <laughs> hopefully they're good. Actually, <laughs> actually, Joel was in Bloody Rage of Bigfoot at the very beginning. Yeah. The very beginning of the film, there's three scientists in a cave, and he he was on a Boy Scout. Right. It was like yeah, we shot it out on an actual Boy Scout uh, camp. But uh, your only line in the movie was, let's go get a beer. Is it? So, yeah, that's your only line. <laughs> let's go get a beer. So uh, you did a great job. And I think later on, we actually did go get a beer. Already has more to play. <laughs> <laughs> Never stop. But uh, I asked Joel, because he's uh, a phenomenal uh, guitar player and songwriter, as you'll, you'll, you'll see. So I said, hey, man, I, uh, I need some, uh, somebody to write some songs for, for Bigfoot and Dracula. And uh, he stepped up to play, and he, what he sent me just knocked my socks off. So I said, "Hey, man, you got to join us on the show tonight." So uh, okay. he uh, happily did that. So to start out with a big lay question. lay some songs on us, baby. Yeah, I, I got I got one question. Yeah. is he going to be in the sequel? Bigfoot goes to the podiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Right. Just start. <laughs> Put the mic on. Can we hear it? Yeah. Back on Bigfoot singing the song. To probably tell y'all something's wrong because you know all I've ever wanted is to be left alone. But I knew I'd eventually be found with so many of you little feet running around and now it seems everybody's got a camera on their phone. And I thought when they opened the border my good friend Chupra he'd take over and then everybody would finally give me a rest. And that reprieve wasn't meant to be because it only led to monster TV and it brought out all these experts who said they know me best. And then they opened my name to Squatch and if that wasn't quite a kick in the crotch, the little one put a tattoo of me on his chest. And if I hear one more time I'm smelly, it's going to turn my brain to jelly. There's nothing I wouldn't do, I've got these Bigfoot blues. Might take a bite out of you, might kill your camera crew. There's nothing <laughs> I wouldn't do, I got these big foot blues. 
Now the only group that's been able to find me are the ones who like to sneak up beside me and then they play all those stupid pranks. And their antics, they're surprisingly quirky, but I guess it sells a lot of beef jerky and for the two groups never meeting, I'll just give thanks. My friends, they moved up north where hockey's more a life than a sport and they got better things to do than chasing me around. And if I hear one more time I'm smelly, it's gonna turn my brain to jelly. There's nothing I wouldn't do, I got these Bigfoot blues. Might take a bite out of you, might kill the camera crew. There's nothing I wouldn't do, I got these Bigfoot blues. You may say I'm losing my class when I'm considering taking a bite of your but then for sure I know I'd be done. <laughs> If I was ever to do something that scary, I know they'd call in the military and they'd send me off to Area 51. <laughs> <laughs> if I hear a more time, I'd smell it. It's gonna turn my brain to jelly. There's nothing I wouldn't do. I got these Bigfoot blues. All right. I was waiting for a... I was waiting That rocks. All right, we'll, we'll do Would you do one more for do, us? Can you... Is this on or off? There. Okay. Can you do that other one about uh, Claire's character for the Dracula film? Or you have to tune his junior guitar? Hopefully this will work. That's entertaining to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the song you wrote about Claire's character for Dracula's Orgy of the Damned. Rehearse with the percussions, or is that the last one? Last one. Woke up this morning, sweat on my brow. Had a funny feeling, should believe in this town. Believe in this town. Cause there's blood in the field. Blood in the wells, she's not gonna live till she sees me in hell. Sees me in hell. And I can see her flaming heart, I can see her shaking hands, I can see her lighting fires all across this land. Across this land. Because there's blood in the fields, blood in the well. Till she sees me in hell Yeah, she sees me in hell She's got one hand on a stake Another on a cross Certain retribution for the souls that were lost The souls that were lost Yeah, there's blood in the fields Blood in the wells She's not gonna rest till she sees me in hell Wow. Yeah, that's good. I like that. It's real good. You got it. Yeah, that man. I'm on top of <laughs> and when they do, it's like that. But see you in hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Great. Thank you very Great job. much. Great job. Yeah, I, I can see why you snapped oh, yeah. him then. Oh, yeah. He's got a lot more goodies. <laughs> well, we're going to probably close the show with him playing. Um, but nice. we've got to get back to our We're going to do Kumbaya. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> the Dracula Kumbaya. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, God will strike us all dead. Okay, <laughs> we're going to check out another trailer okay. called... Oh, this is The Final Hunt? The uh, Final Hunt. Okay, this is at the end of Bloody Rage of Bigfoot where uh, I'm out in the woods uh, looking for Bigfoot. Bigfoot just tackled me. I'm running away. This is where I finally confront Satanta and Lucifer in the big bloody battle at the end. Chicken What's that? No, the chicken suit is that's uh, slightly before this, but this is where uh, where I shoot um, uh, Satanta in the stomach. And she yells out, "I think I've been shot." Nice. <laughs> oh, you want to say Yeah, spaghetti is my favorite. Kind of like blood in a way, you know? Blood and worms. Yeah, blood and worms. Help! Help! What the hell? What is this guy? Oh. What? What the hell? There's a creature on here in the woods! He fucking tackled me! There is Who? no creature in these fucking woods. Who are you? 
What the fuck? Put the gun down. Yeah, no. us. What? Huh? Put the gun down. Why are you got what? What the fuck are you doing out here with guns? What the fuck what are you? What are you doing with the gun? What, I was hunting the fucking oh, creature. Wait, what? No, calm down. Calm down. Be uh, careful. What? Uh, what the fuck? I don't trust him. What are you doing? I was out here with this other guy. There's the, haven't you seen the newest thing? This thing about the Bigfoot? This is not your night. Are you serious? Are you hungry? No! Yeah, let's eat! You can't be serious! No! no. Dinner! No! full of holes but then she has to hit me in my nose and call me a bitch on top of it so. <laughs> did you give yourself a cameo in uh, dracula as well so i'm gonna play a small part in dracula too. awesome uh, all right, yeah. Yeah. All right. i play uh, the professor greg beskervani well this is the part i've been waiting for all night is the cat fight this is oh, well this actually is uh yeah this is a scene from dracula's orgy of the damned and this and is Fluff is in this. This is the scene where uh, uh, her character is on the hunt for Dracula, and uh, Dracula is hosting uh, cat fights in this kind of like this hillbilly type <laughs> of uh, field. But uh, we don't really we don't show much of that. It's more her. She arrives at the cat fights, and Dracula is awakening Lucifer from her deep sleep. Ah, that's what this is happening. cool stuff. <laughs> Poor sods, they have no clue what's about to hit them.
that came, I'm very happy with how that came. Ron, Ron <clears throat> is just a badass. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just are, Master. I just like eating women. Yeah. What can I say? It's a, it's a hobby of mine. And so they line up for he it happened too. to bring a camera that night. <laughs> there we were. No, I think you did an outstanding job. I, I'm really happy. Thank about you. It. I think uh, I'm really happy about the movies coming out. I think it looks very cool. I can't wait to see the whole oh, thing. Well, you will. You will. Yeah, I know. I know. We have to wait, but it's I know I really can. I've been I've been anxious to see I it know, for, for, long. for two years. So, <laughs> no, it's uh, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna yeah. Be cool. Oh yeah. Yes. Now we have one more trailer called more. Psych Attack. Now is that? This is the scene where uh, we first introduced Dracula to the film, uh, where oh, okay. uh, Lucifer becomes, uh, where she becomes Lucifer. She plays a psychiatrist, Dr. Jill Flanders, who is interviewing Claire. Claire leaves her office, and uh, we'll see what happens after she leaves her office. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? Is someone there? I like that one. You know, I we, we it's on YouTube and we put it. Uh, yeah. James put it on my Facebook the yeah. other day, yeah. and uh, I put that out. And some of the comments they got, they liked all the growling and the blood and chasing her outside and everything and Dracula in the daylight. But then they also loved the 15-minute parking sign that's behind my head when they're killing her. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody mentioned that. Well, it's an office wow. building. It, it is. It's an office 
Christmas bill. Right? No, I just thought it was funny that somebody mentioned that. It was just weird. It's a weird well, random they, comment. They didn't understand right. the true art. I just think it's funny that they have a 50 minute parking limit at a psychiatrist's office. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're done. You're <laughs> in. You're fixed. You're out of there. You know. That you know gives when, you enough time to get your damn meds, and you're out of there. That's, that's right. Good. You go and you get your meds. You get chased out by Dracula, yeah, right. and you're done. You're, right. you're cured. Right. You know what else is funny when, when they do the spaghetti westerns? It looks like the 1800s, and you see like a car drive by in the desert. You know there ain't no goddamn cars in the desert because they didn't make no cars in the desert. But it's drive by it way out there, like the Clint Eastwood movie. You know the. You know, <laughs> so it's kind of something like that, though. You know. Anyway, so now do you you directed that now, right? Are you the the director for this? Or? For this movie? Yeah. No, no, no. Well, that was me. That oh, was you me. directed? That was, that oh, was wow. Me. Yeah. I just been there snarling, growl, basically. <laughs> Eddie. Given, uh, Sunday morning. But you you're working on a few projects. Was it uh, Shark uh, Jurassic Shark? No. <laughs> I thought you were working on Jurassic Park. Jurassic no, no, Park. No, no, what? What, what, the, what is it? The formula to all the sci-fi TV movie channel shows, they're always sharks or something because they always have to have beaches. Yeah. So this way, whatever the creatures they can put in the water because this way the uh, creatures don't actually have to be seen because they're bad CGI. And you have bikini girls running around. So I decided I'm gonna make a movie called Seahorse Werewolf just because it's the stupidest title. I, I think it's awesome. Seahorse Werewolf. That's all like some big word shit, shrieking. man. You did the editing for the shrieking. Right? Yeah, I did that. Uh, That's a pretty darn good movie. We're doing actually uh, another movie in October called Cardudos, which is uh, what is it? Here, you read the book? I don't know. I'm supposed to play a boom operator or something. It's, it's, it's about. It's like Wicca or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's about. Um, yeah, we've got about Wicca. enough time left for everybody to really let the audience know what they're going to be doing next. Oh. Oh. Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> And we're, we're also working on Psycho Magnet, a love story. Um, we have a lot of cameos in that, and we're in talks with a couple of uh, quite big names, and that's that's interesting. What about you, Steve? Okay. I'm just going to be doing the editing for uh, for James here. Oh, Bye. thanks, thanks, buddy. <laughs> so you say big names? Is it, are you going to get Ron Jeremy? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> we because. Were, we were because if you get Ron Jeremy, I want him to shoot me. Not not shoot me like that, but I want him to kill me. You know, I, I want to be killed by Ron Jeremy. I just, I, I just need, I need to, to be able to tell people. The other big name. Yes, there's somebody else. Bigger than Ron Jeremy? Well, in not physically, community. but yes. <laughs> in the horror community, yes. Yes. Well, uh, next project after Dracula's Origin of the Dam, I got, a, I got some. Uh, I'm kicking around the idea of doing a movie called The Revolt of Human Garbage, and that's going to be about a Nazi motorcycle gang. That goes to battle with the Westboro Baptist Church in a blood oh, battle. Nice. <laughs> and I and I, I nice. call it the revolt of human garbage, and everybody dies. So I, I thought uh, I'm kicking around that idea. Spoilers. But I <laughs> but I thought that would be a cheesy green screen thing. We had motorcycles too, with the roads like backwards. Yeah, whatever. I, I'm kicking around that. I'm also thinking about doing an alien invasion movie. I don't know. I, for some reason, I think Steve needs to be probed in a scene. So, <laughs> I, I can put it with grave robbers for that. Grave <laughs> robbers, yeah, you're working on grave robbers from outer space. So, yeah, grave so robbers from outer space. That's the aliens raising zombies. And Sweet. It's really big to play that from outer space. Nice. It's taking forever. So. Okay. <laughs> All right, and oh, no, that's okay, set, that ahead. one stays there. So let's start with uh, the musician here. Well, should he sing Joel. another song? Should he sing another song? Yes, and, and I want. Yeah, I, no, I want him to play us out. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but I want to know: are are you going to be keeping writing songs? Yeah. For James's it, it sounds like I might be doing Seahorse, seahorse Werewolf. From <laughs> <laughs> Psycho Magnet. Was it? <laughs> well, you do it very well. <laughs> well, he um, needs he needs a place to play. Now you work at uh, some bars and stuff like that, don't you? Or he needs a place. That's embarrassing. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> He's a he's a he's a cat, a musician. He needs a place to play. Sunday nights, right now. Yeah, so you should play some bars and stuff like that. Doing yeah. yeah. How will we get people in here? It's like, what difference does it make? It's not my shift, so why the hell would I want to bring anybody in here? Yeah, no. Oh, I'm bringing a petting zoo on my shift. <laughs> so, what are you up to, blues man? Well, after the show's over, I'm gonna go out and panhandle, get some money, <laughs> so I can get some ripple. Well, <laughs> what I would like to do before the end of the show is, I would like to. Accompany him on a percussion instrument that I brought, and uh, let, let's go out the show with, uh, with some rock and roll or whatever you got going yeah, on up it, in there. Do right. it. I'll go right ahead. There you go. All right, thanks. Right. Are you gonna sing now? Or are we gonna talk to everybody? Oh yeah, else? Right, here I gotta accompany him with the, uh, the microphone. How are you gonna do that? Uh, 
Very, very carefully. Watch. Is that sugar the and then have it play out. Yeah, let's, uh, blues band, we're, we're going to talk everybody out first and find out what everybody's up to first. Okay. Sorry. That's all right. boys. Close it down. What do you need to know from me, Kenny? Oh, what would I like to know from the punk monk? Oh, man. Here we go. What do you do at night? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Come on, tell me. You have to tell me something. Mm. <laughs> Mainly online a lot during the night looking for work. Oh, I see. So being a punk monk isn't good enough? You're, you're looking for more work? Well, that's kind of like a part-time gig. Oh, that's a part-time gig. So what do you want to do? What am I looking for? Yeah. Yeah, IT work and whatnot. Oh, I see. OK. That's IT work. Right up my alley. Cool. So. But I know I will see you again. Oh, yes, you will. So I can pinch you. <laughs> you know what I think is stupid? What? what? Places like uh, Sam's Club. <laughs> you know why? Right out Because you walk into the fucking place, right? And they make you show them that gay little card. You know, like, oh, like I'm a member of Sam's Club. They're no longer, they're no longer a wholesale uh, market. They're, it's shit. All they are is a supermarket. Why do they want to charge me and make them show that stupid little card? Why is that? So get somebody. Why? I need somebody to answer that. I'll tell you why. Why? Because people Go like Costco. us buy diamonds from gypsies. It's stupid. That's why we got more bunch of rubes. Oh, no, it's stupid. Places stuff. like that are dumb. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just go to the... Uh, Seven living to get my corn dog. You know I'm gonna do it. I don't, I don't need no <laughs> Sam's Club, no Walmart. Hey, but I I got a joke though. I heard though, and I'll share it with y'all. Okay. Why are there no Kmart's in Iran? How come there's no Kmart's in Iran? Why? Cause there's a Target on every corner. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, Evil, that's about enough of your genius. And Ron, I want to hear yes. what you're, I see what you've been doing, I want to hear what you're doing next. Well, I'm, I'm doing a lot of things right now. We're, we're finishing up Dark Realm, it's in editing right now, and Dark Realm is a, it's a movie that it involves my live Gothic Illusion show. It's partially that and partially a horror film, all combined together. And that's in post right now. Okay. And you're doing the behind the scenes for that, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Full I'm disclosure. Doing the song for that movie. Ha ha. I'm yes, you are. Too. Yes, you are. It's a song called Smoking Spiders. Top that. Yes. <laughs> and it's about yes. a paraplegic prostitute, so too. <laughs> and I'm not making that up. Hey, where are those spiders? She'll smoke? be here later. Yes. <laughs> yes. She <laughs> will have her on the show. Oh, oh yes. God. Paraplegic <laughs> prostitutes for everyone. <laughs> Yes. I have a copy of the Bloody Rage of Bigfoot right here. I'm going to write a song called Smoking Roaches. Sm oh, that, that was my coaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's my coaster. <laughs> it's your coaster? Uh, uh, oh, my God. He uses this movie as a coaster. I'm also okay. working on a couple more. Are you? Yes. Well, you know, I, I know this fellow called Luciano Gravis. Yes. Don't worry, Master. I will call you about 3 o'clock right. a.m. and fill you in on that. Whole call thing. me later. But there's also a movie called Year of the Ox. It's a short <laughs> film. It's really interesting by Rob Spalveda, and that will be out shortly as well. Oh, okay. That's really cool. I know. You're all All shot right here busy. in Chinatown. Yeah, yeah I'm shooting a movie called busy. Bound in Death right now mm -hmm. with Revenant Films. You just and don't stop. You're doing no, I have a lot of months. projects, and, and yeah. that doesn't count all the stuff I'm doing with the Gothic Illusion show right now, right, too. So right. there's a lot of different things going on. And then, and then of course, uh, Dracula's Orgy of the Dam. Yes, yes. Which will be out uh, soon. It will be out 2012. Be done in 2012. Awesome. Yeah. I was also thinking of a big, kind of a cool idea <clears throat> to do a documentary on, uh, on the car sales thing. Because if anybody knows me, knows I know a lot about car sales and all the tricks. Oh, he's good. And, uh, I called and him one day while he was at work, and I would have bought a car right there. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? And what I you driving? Afford it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I driving? I, I live in the city. I take public transportation. Why don't you guys make a, a, a movie about unicorns and rainbows and <laughs> leprechauns and, and fun stuff? Why, why does that be blood and guts and violence? <laughs> Oh man, they gotta give me nightmares tonight when I go sleep under that bridge, man. Oh, those guys are nuts. Mm. Uh, 
Hey, you want to play a song you're talking about? Are you going to sing a song? Right. Okay, what song are we doing? Uh, Rainbows and Unicorns. Nice. Rainbows and Unicorns. Actually, we wrote a bunch of songs so James could pick them for a vampire movie. Yeah, so well, we're going to use them another, all. Another vampire movie. Actually, I would, I would like to do the, the album Music Inspired by Dracula's Orgy of the Dam. Just knock out 12 songs. Oh, my God, they have a cowbell. <laughs> okay, here we go. More cowbell. More cowbell. More cowbell. Before my soul was lost, you used to love to laugh, you used to understand. You know, I used to see the light before my soul was dead. thank everyone who came we had a wonderful show I had a lot of fun I love all of you you're so beautiful and talented Christopher Kaler <laughs> Claire <laughs> Fluff <laughs> Steve Gallagher no, Goliath. 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 I said it wrong I'm sorry da, 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 da. James Bach president of the, the <laughs> Great Lakes Artist Group Master Ron Fitzgerald, my one of my dearest friends and cohorts in crime. Oh yes. The punk monk, Brian Hedger, the evil genius. This gave me always a pleasure. No. <laughs> 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 and we're just gonna let <laughs> let Joel play us out. Just, okay, what song? Are we doing jam. a different song? What's that one song you go? Everybody can right. sing along yeah. and dance. Come on, let's get grooving. Oh, this is not dancing. <laughs> this is not the happy music. This is uh, Dracula. No, I don't no cowbell with this one, do you? <laughs> no. I fall asleep alone again as the walls around they close me in. And in the day of perfect dream. Mm, just before the time I wake, I go and live through my misery. Beautiful. That was one of a man I like that. Them one must probably chew the my eye. <laughs> Freebird! Oh, I gotta tune it up for Freebird. <laughs> yeah! Let's do Freebird. You can do Freebird? Let's do it. Are you serious you can do it? <laughs> I think you can do it. No, I'll see. Here, you still need the mic. Yeah, let's do some blues. Will you still remember me? <laughs> do it, do it, Todd. Hey, where you going, man? You gotta help us. Need it tomorrow. Will you remember me? I'm as friendly as tomorrow. Here you go, you take over, man. This is too many places I gotta see. 
If I stayed here with you now Things just couldn't be the same I'm as free as a bird now And this bird you cannot change Solo. <laughs> Anybody got a solo guitar? <laughs> got <it. laughs> Now we need those high pressure guitar solos. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, you, do you know what you don't have is those humbucker pickups in there. That's while. why you can't do that like that. <laughs> and uh, play a little more music. We're gonna talk that, a little more. How about we do a sing along? What, what do you got for a sing along? Yeah, what's that? I know old Suzanne. I learned this in Mississippi. Oh, hold on a minute. Turn it the right way, yeah. <laughs> well, I come from Alabama with a Stratocaster flea. <laughs> nice. I, I'm still working on it, so I hear y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst thing you ever ate? My worst meal of all time, I ate sugar on bread and drank out of a hose. Seriously. What about you? The worst meal. Worst I meal you ever had. That's what they had in the green room for us. The oh yeah. The worst <laughs> meal I ever ate was one that my kids cooked me when they were about seven years old oh. for Mother's Day. <laughs> and then I went down to the kitchen and it was totally trashed. So that's what we did for Mother's Day, cleaned up after them. But I did get my breakfast in bed. Oh. Burnt French toast, <laughs> raw bacon. Uh, yeah, it was a, like that was the worst meal I ever had. But I couldn't say anything about it, you know. Can't hurt the kids' feelings. Cause a major trauma. They'll end up in a psychiatrist's office over it when they're 40. 50-bit of parking, don't forget. <laughs> oh, yeah. What he said. What he said. <laughs> oh, I'm about to learn a song. I'll play, I'll play some real blues again. All right, come on. Let's, let's I'm gonna play. I'm on, I'm leave the cowbell out of it this time. Maybe you can help me out. Nah, 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 like something like that. <laughs> <laughs> close to time to sign off and it's oh, been a wonderful show 
I know, I know. It was so wonderful having you all on stage with me. Can we close with Blow It in the Wind? Yeah, you sure can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't gonna go there. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna blow something out of my ass there. <laughs> I don't even know if I know it. Sorry? It's just no Bob Dylan, right? So I want to think. Don't think, think twice, it's all right. Can you do Don't Think Twice, it's all right? Well, it ain't no use to sit and wonder why I did. If you don't know why. And it ain't no use to sit and wonder why I did When I'm on the dark side of the road Well, anything I'm doing They will say Make me try and change my mind and stay I This is out of tune Yeah, close enough <laughs> No verse? No, no, it's okay, go ahead <laughs> I mean, I do, but uh... Some of my favorite celebrities what? Sick of like famous celebrities. David Lee Roth or, <laughs> yeah. or something. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Do any Willie Nelson? Oh, no, you know how to do uh, Dust in the Wind by Kansas? Sure. All right. I'm going to sing about my, my professional voice now. I got to think of it. <clears throat> Is that how it goes? Something know. like that. I close my eyes Only for a moment and the moment's gone All my dreams Pass before my eyes of curiosity All right. <laughs> We are out of time. I want to thank my guest and the Great Lakes Artist group. Artist group. <laughs> 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 those guys. There you go. Guys. The Great Lakes All Artist Group. Are, my brain is fried from this show. Best way to do a show. <laughs> that happens. That is. You said you were going to take me out for a drink after this. Yeah, we're all going to go out and drinking. All right? right. Son. It's on. It's on. It's on. I want to thank my crew, too. Ben Houston, Dean Maris, and uh, Bill. We just like to call him Bill. So I want to thank everyone. We had a great show, and you're going to see us again. It's not like we're going anywhere. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Drive home carefully.